Annalise Keating, criminal defense lawyer and law professor at Middleton University. She's both admired and feared. Jessica Pearson, corporate lawyer and managing partner at Pearson Spectralit. She can either come in peace like Gandhi or be ruthless like Ghost. These two women can either cooperate like Oprah and Gail or compete like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But what if they come together to form a strategic alliance, as in having an arrangement between their two companies to undertake a mutually beneficial project while each retains their independence? Will it be possible? What project will they undertake? What challenges will they overcome? Well, to answer this, let's first do a SWOT analysis. Starting with Annalise. Strength. I'll say Annalise is very resilient. Oh my God, she, she wants something, she will keep pushing for that. Another thing I'll say is the law. Annalise knows the law up, down, in and out. In a good way and in a bad way. But for this one, let's say in a good way. She knows how to manipulate the law to get her clients and herself out of trouble. Another strength would be Frank and Bernie. I think there's no analyst without these two helping her, you know, with everything that she has going on. Let's move on to weaknesses. The first one is the bottle. That's obvious. The second one is Kidding Five. Oh my God. Annalise loves those kids. They are her weakness. And I even added Wes as another weakness, even though he's in Kidding Five because Annalise has a special weakness for us, which we, we understood why. Let's now move on to opportunities. I think there's an opportunity for Annalise to rebrand because my girl loves to take cases from like these questionable people. But what if she like took cases from other people so that she can rebrand and defend her reputation and get more clients who will show her, use her skills in a good way, right? Another opportunity for Annalise will be influence. I feel like, you know, when she took on like the Supreme Court, I feel like she can do further than that and influence the legal system so she can have like laws written in. She can have things go on for her. Another thing will be impact. I feel like Annalise could mentor like the ins and inspire the next generation of lawyers at Middleton University. She can do a lot with her with her impact. So I think that those are the opportunities. Let's move on to threats. The first one will be her reputation. Annalise's reputation is a threat. People, you either love her or you hate her. And most of the time, people haven't heard good things about her. So that's a threat. The other thing is the bottle, which we said was a weakness, but that's a threat too. Then the final threat will be her secrets. Annalise has secrets. And if they come out, I don't know how, what she will do about that. Moving on to Jessica Pearson, let's do a SWOT analysis on her. Her strengths, Harvey is number one. Jessica's number one strength is Harvey because Harvey's always got her back and he's so good. Then another strength of her is her calmness. Jessica works like she just carries herself with this aura. Even if everything seems to be going wrong, she's calm. She's so calm and collected. I think that's one of her strengths. Then her network. She knows a lot of people. She has so many people um, on her side. And I think that's a good thing. I would say a weakness of Jessica, which is obvious, will be Louise Lit. Louise is so unpredictable. And not only is he unpredictable, he's emotional as well. So that's a weakness for Jessica because you never know where Louis is going to come from, what he's going to do. Another weakness would be, even though she's calm, like I've said, but sometimes it comes off as cold and distant. I haven't seen Jessica mingle, you know, with the people in her firm like Annalise does. So I haven't seen her, you know, mentor those people, talk to them. I haven't seen her do much of that. And then another weakness will be some of the secrets that she also holds. Let's look at opportunities. I think Jessica could do with an expansion, you know, with her moving to Chicago, she could do with an expansion and also with like a strategic alliance and also with collaboration. I think she can do that. And then another thing she can do is mentorship. Like I've said on the weaknesses, I haven't seen her really, really mentor 
you know people in in her farm or even outside like young women who look up to her so that's an opportunity and then collaboration which i've said earlier on her threats louis is here again he's a threat he's a weakness and he's a threat because you just not, don't know with louise and then she's got enemies as well enemies like daniel hadman charles forstman and sean Cahill. that's a threat now this one is interesting when i was putting it here because i was like have is a strength but have is also a weakness and here's what i mean harvey in a way can overshadow jessica sometimes you don't know who's the managing partner sometimes you don't know originally you know you didn't know who was the boss and who wasn't and i feel like that can be a threat because he can overshadow jessica and sometimes he also goes behind her back to do things that he wants to do okay so now judging from the sword analysis although i think it would it wouldn't be easy at all but i feel like a strategic alliance may be possible for analyst Caden and Jessica Pearson. But what project will they undertake? I think one possible project they will undertake is to represent a large and influential corporation like that is both facing a criminal and civil charges and corruption and environmental damage so that they can both bring in like their criminal defense law and their corporate law together. So that will mean that the corporation will need Annalise and Jessica's skills and expertise to defend itself and minimize the damages. So Annalise will handle the criminal aspects of the case, obviously, such as dealing with the prosecutors, the judges, the witnesses, and the evidence. And then Jessica will handle the civil aspects of the case, such as negotiating with the plaintiffs, the regulators, the media, the shareholders. And I think together they will both bring in like different skills that will interest that one particular client. But what challenges will they have to overcome? I think there's three of them. The first one will be trust issues. Both Annalise and Jessica are secretive and they are protective of their agendas and interests. You never know what they are thinking or what they have going on, right? So they might not fully trust each other and they all both of them might have even hidden motives or conflicts of interest and i feel like they won't tell each other so what they will need to do is they will need to learn to communicate and cooperate but that could be a challenge like the trust issues could be a challenge another one will be the ethical dilemmas both of them even though jessica's calm about it but both of them are willing to bend or break the rules and the law to achieve their goals. So that's one of Annalise's main strengths, right? So this can be a challenge because they might have like different views of what's right and what's wrong. Annalise might be willing to push the boundaries. And Jessica might be like, you know, let's just do a little bit here and there, you know, a sneaky way of doing it. But Annalise will not go for that. So they need to find a way to balance that and they will need to talk about that. And then the final thing I think will be competitive pressures. Like both of them are ambitious and competitive. But then with Jessica, you need to add Harvey on top of that. She has both and Harvey who are both competitive. And there's Annalise who's also competitive on her own, right? So they might have different expectations and standards for themselves and each other. So Annalise might feel like Jessica's not doing what she needs to do. Or Jessica might feel like, so they are both competitive. And I feel like this might clash over the strategies and tactics of the case. So because they might try to outshine or undermine each other. But if they walk through these challenges, walk through everything that we have going on, I think all in all, a strategic alliance will be possible. What do you think? Let me know.